Good morning. I'm Don Pratt. I'm the pastor of uh, St. Paul United Methodist Church in Largo, Florida. It's good to be back. Uh, been, been gone a little bit during the summer. Um, you know, the Catholic Church has uh, several feast days throughout the year, um, you know, remembering saints that are in the church. Um, you know, feast days are memorial days to remember saints. As a matter of fact, today is the feast day to remember St. Benedict, who was uh, the person who started, got the monastic, monastic movement kind of going. Um, so today is his feast day. But a few weeks ago, there was something I think is really interesting. Uh, it was the feast day of St. Peter and St. Paul. Now, um, you know, arguably, the, they are two of the greatest saints of the church. Uh, I mean, Peter, the disciple of Jesus, you know, um, who was a leader in, in everything that happened. And then Paul, who was one of the, you know, uh, incredible leader in the early church and in the beginnings of Christianity. So it's interesting that these two um, leaders in the church, these two saints, share a, a, a day. Uh, you would think they would have one of their own, but they share this day. It's, it is the feast day of St. Peter and St. Paul. And I always thought it was kind of odd. And then um, the other day I was reading uh, something that Henry Nouwen had written, where he said that maybe it was done to remind us that, you know, Peter was sort of impetuous. He was uneducated, fisherman, uh, very passionate in uh, his faith and the way he followed Jesus. And then Paul was educated. He was a scholar. He uh, thought through things. He wrote theology and that maybe those two share a feast day to remind us that they're both important. Because unexamined faith that runs and is fueled only by passion is dangerous. When people start listening to just their feelings instead of the facts and instead of what's, what's real, then, then that faith can become dangerous. And the same is true for the other side, a faith that becomes purely intellectual often loses its passion and loses its vision. So we need both. We need, we need the intellectual side of our faith and we need the passionate side of our faith. And now in suggestion that maybe the church put those two together, Peter and Paul, to remind us that we need both because we really do. So I hope that um, today you'll have both in your faith that it will be not only an intelligent faith, but a compassionate and passionate faith. And remember, God loves you.